Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Kyla, aka the Flower Gang Kyla. And how are y'all doing today? So, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do because you can still be a part of my giveaway that is still going on. And if you want to join, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so for my video today, or this video, week's video, I am doing a story time and telling you what is my life with being hemophiliac and here is my story so when i was a baby at six months old i was born with um a missing home in my heart i also had like some trauma in my early life um when i was five years old i was pushed off the playground and developed a tbi and at that time when they were trying to figure out what was wrong with me they realized that I had this like big blood clot in my head that they were trying to drain out. And then that like occurred more, but they didn't know what it was. So it wasn't hemophilia at that time. So then a couple years later, when I was 12 years old, I got my mentor cycle. And that's when everything started to come in place where I was a true, I was, really known to have hemophilia um i was bleeding for three weeks it was really bad i almost died at 12 years old again I was, my blood count was at a three so i had to go into the um i had to get er in a minute what iv iv this is nia by the way she's, hi guys she's recording me today so i had to get an iv got two blood transfusions i had to spend easter in the hospital and then my whole entire life changed i was put on these medications to control my bleeding and there was some weird ass side effects that made me go crazy and there was a lot of bunch of unnecessary error that happened in my lifetime i was admitted to the psych awards two times because of reasons and uh, the medicine that, that they put me on was wrong, so thankfully I was on a lower dose, and ever since I've been better. And um, living with hemophilia kind of sucks because you can't get tattoos, you can't get piercings that are like a belly, or you can't get your ears, but you can't, you have to take medicine for it. Like, I have to get an IV if I want to do something, and I, and the advantage of that is that I used to go to these type of camps where they allowed kids with hemophilia to feel normal, that you're not alone in this. There's other kids that I have met in my life that are in this journey with me. I am part of the Florida Hemophilia Association. I've been with them for about four years now. I've been into their teen adult retreats. I've done all the events with them. I haven't done the walk yet because it just never worked out for me. I would always have to be working or sometimes I would just miss it. And it's unfortunate because you guys can help support me by donating money toward a team or if I wanted to do the walk, I could like make a team and you guys can donate to my, you know, place. And um, so yeah, that's pretty much about my life with hemophilia. I wanted to bring this as an awareness so if there's other kids out there that do have hemophilia and are experienced the same situation as me, we could um, start maybe something, make a change and we could all connect. And also I do breeze, um, bruise easily. I actually have one right here that's really bad right now, um, which is like really bad. I don't know if you can see that little yellow part, but yeah, so I just bruise easily and there's just a lot of things that go on with hemophilia. So yeah, that's all I could remember. I just wanted to make this video and I hope you guys like it. Give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and comment and share this video and I'll see you in my next video. And I love y'all and have a great weekend. Bye. Sitting all alone, mouth full of gum in the driveway.